Welcome to Jean and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Hi, I'm Jean. And I'm Mike. And today we are doing the crossword for Sunday, August 25th, 2024. So, on this hot day, did you do the crossword? I did do the crossword. And was it a hot crossword? It was pretty hot, yes. Did you get it done in a hot minute? Uh, not quite a hot minute. Okay. A hot hour? In a hot half hour. Hot half hour. Whoa, nice. Beat me by about a factor of three. <laughs> Maybe well, more. I, ha- I have to qualify that. Mm-hmm. You know, our our daughter, our middle child, is visiting us. Hmm. And we did it as a team. Oh, I, I see. I did not know that. Yes. And so, yes, what she knew, I didn't, and vice versa, and we just tore through this. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, what I didn't know, I didn't know. <laughs> And, and you had no help. <laughs> I had I had no help from anyone, including myself. Um, I got through the whole crossword and got it filled in to my satisfaction and went through and looked at every single clue, didn't see any problems. And then I realized it was that dreaded situation where there's something that I think is right, but it's wrong. Mm-hmm. And eventually I was able to um, hone in on it any guesses as to where that was? Would it have been in a foreign language? It might have been in a foreign language. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I had to change uh, a word. What was it? 40? 63? 63 down? Yes. Yes. Um, poor blank lado on the, the other, other hand. hand. Spanish. Right. And, and I should have known because lado... Is ends with an O, so that must be a masculine uh, noun. Uh, and so it would be other is the word that we're looking for in Spanish, which could be either otro or otra, depending on the the noun. Okay, now that's interesting. You're talking about the last O in otro. Right. Mm-hmm. I was talking about the first O. Oh. Because 79 across queer identity for short was AR, so I knew it had to be ARO. Oh, you did know I, that. I know that. See, I didn't know that. What's that stand for? I think it's aromantic for people who don't believe in sex, something like that. Oh. I'm not entirely I don't sure. I think that they don't believe in it. Maybe they just don't believe they're not, in it. They're not. Yeah, right. I'm sure they believe it exists as a concept. <laughs> Otherwise, how would they be here? But um, not, They're not interested the, in the, pursuing c- it. Correct. They're not I keen. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. But but my problem was with, with that first O. Oh. 60, you see, you even said the answer right. Oh. 63 across. Yes. Now I get it. You went, oh. And if I get something, I'd be like, ah, I would have gone A-H-H. And that's exactly what I did. So I had atro. And I was convinced that ah, a, I mean, if you get something, what do you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you no, ne- I really, well, um, the, what was the clue there? Now I get it. And and so we put aha. Yes, exactly. Now I get it. I had aha, uh-huh, and then I said, "Well, it's not aha. Uh-huh, it must be ah because I needed that H for fifty-seven down. Right. Fifty-seven down being that's just wrong, and that was ah uh, no. So I had H H, and I figured, oh, it's ah. Well, uh, yes, I, I, we had ah uh, there too, but then when we looked at the downs, I'm like, oh, well, I know that's otro, so it's like, oh, and we both went, oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yes, that's how we got it. Oh, see, and again, I didn't know outro, and ah uh, sounded perfectly fine to me. Mm-hmm. So um, I spent about, of the, I don't know, an hour and 45 minutes I spent on this crossword, I believe an hour and 30 minutes was spent looking for O versus Otro. <laughs> oh, dear. It was just, and I looked, I found a couple of other places where I'd made like small errors. Um, you know, but I started to doubt everything. I mean, that, that you get to a point where it's just like, is Brian Eno really a member of the <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Or maybe it's Ina, that, you know? That, that was my one gimme up there in that corner. Well, I'll, t- I'll tell you, because 48 across, thudding noise was clunk. And I thought, oh, that can't be right. But the O was the O of Eno. That's right. And I thought, 
it's Brian Eno. It's been Brian Eno since the beginning of the New York Times crossword, <laughs> which predates him by several decades. Yeah, I was going to say, it's been Eno since the beginning of Brian Eno. You know, I, I and, and right next to Brian Eno, um, uh, let's see, that was 39 down, big name in allergy medication, so Benadryl. So I started debating, okay, is it spelled with a Y? Benadryl, D-R-Y-L? It's like, it has to be. But then... 70 across, SG, short for school, with campuses in Abu Dhabi and Shanghai. It's either NYU or possibly the new island university. <laughs> Not sure what that I would have stood for, but, you know, Benadryl, that, that... It's spelled with a Y. It is spelled with a Y, and I knew that, but again, I, st- I just started doubting myself all over the place. Well, um, we're, uh, we got uh, sort of tied up and for a very end, short period of time and yeah where we ended was um it was with 86 down which was corsica and reunion oh eel right uh-huh and so we weren't really quite sure i said well i think they're islands so um so we put what we put i um I S L E or something. I can't remember what we put. Well, so that would but have been. Anyway, um, we turn. It turned out we had. We ended up with I L E T there. And then, oh, for ninety nine across tangled masses of hair. Right. You had as Matt M A T T. But then we decided, oh, that's got to be an S, and that would make them ills, which is island in French, which I guess. Those those are written in French. Well, you know, it would have been better if they had said Corsica a réunion, if they had written the, the French for and. Yes, I then mean, I would have known, oh, we need a foreign language in there, not, I, you know, I was trying to put in I-O, I-S-L-E. So, uh, I mean, there's a bit of inconsistency, right? Because if for outro, they had poor blank lato, right. so they're not afraid to throw in the Spanish. Uh-huh. But with but with the French, they 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 left off the the et. Mm-hmm. But but I didn't have much trouble with that because the one next to it, the letter next to it in so eighty six across was else, and you probably had or not. Is that what you had originally? Uh, no, we had we had if not. Oh, you did okay mm-hmm. because I had. Um, I had or not, because I thought or not sounds good for else. And then I had, but then I had RLA for 87 down, and 87 down was part of 115 down. 115 down was FSU, Florida State University. And I was trying to figure out how I could get RLA to be part of FSU. And I thought, well, maybe there's some sort of like the Roberts Liberal Arts College in the Florida State University. And so I started inventing a whole sections of the university before realizing perhaps it could be an F and then it would be FLA as in Florida. That's correct. So um, that was sort of a, a challenge for me. Um, so I don't know. I, I felt like going to a 71 across. Places to let out anger by smashing object. Rage rooms. Yes, I'd never heard of those. But our daughter explained to me what they were. I think it's a place where you go and throw things because they, you didn't get the crossword solved in no, a timely they, fashion. She said that they have these rooms where you can go in there and they've got all kinds of things that you can throw and break. Right. Yeah. I'm like, really? And like, I guess people pay to do that. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine. Well, it's probably cheaper than throwing and breaking your own things. Well, it would be, but it's like, I don't know, kind of... Kind of childish, I think, but maybe, maybe for some people that just is, a, you know, they have to do that. I'm, I've heard, I hear I that. I can't imagine. I hear that rage rooms are all the rage. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, I, I mean, we used to have a president that threw ketchup, as I recall, and so, or else it was uh, was reported that he threw ketchup when he got mad. Mm-hmm. So I guess people do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I never throw ketchup when I get mad, for the, for <laughs> no. the record. And I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> I, I don't throw anything, as a matter of fact. No, I don't either. I, I, I do gripe. Uh-huh. Actually, I mean, I like this crossword. It was just the hour and a half that I spent looking for outro. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad it didn't cause you to want to throw things. So. Well, I'm thinking the trauma of this will now <laughs> permanently engrave outro in my brain. <laughs> well, then you'll never forget it. As you know, it will show up again um, in the New York Times crossword. Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. And this crossword had a theme to it. 
It did. Um, the, the, the title of the puzzle was, Is There an Echo in Here? And it was by John Kugelman. And the themed clues were, um, were a rep repetitive. You know, each, each themed clue had the same word or phrase in it twice. So the first one was 21 across, which was tisk tisk, which is a common phrase mm -hmm. saying tisk twice. Although you never hear anyone actually say tisk tisk. tisk. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yes. Tisk tisk. Yes, I've heard that. Oh, I thought it was just sort of a sound that you would make that they've written down as TSK. No, no uh-uh. I think it's tisk tisk. Well, I'm going to be listening or for that. Or it could be. Yeah, so that uh -huh. is... Uh, like a, but a I've tut. heard I've heard people say tisk. I I've heard, uh -huh. but that's not really a, a word. Mm -hmm. No. Anyway. Anyway, well, the answer to that was double click. Right. And all of the answers had some form of repetition. Uh, you know, a word that meant repeat or repetition. So like double, double click. Uh, the second one was twenty three across, which was buddy buddy. And that was second mate. Mm -hmm. So you had two buddies or second mate. Um, let's see. The, they did not really identify these too well. You just kind of have to go through and find the double ones. Okay. So I, th I think 44. 44 across was knock knock. And that was rap duo. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we go down to... Just the next one, 45, 45 across. Did I miss one? Mm -hmm. Oh, 45 across. Oh, yes, 1-1 one, one or 11, 1-1. One, one. And the answer to that was one after another. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was rather clever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we go to 64 across, which was poo-poo, spelled P-O-O-H, poo-poo. This bears repeating. Ha ha. Very clever. Uh, then we had 88 across, tut tut. And that was the mummy returns. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Then we had 93 across, ow, ow. And that was allows. I don't know quite how that, how that fits. Allow me. All ows. All ows. Oh, of course. All ows. Okay, and then 110 across was okay, okay, and that was backup copy. And then finally, 114 across, hubba hubba, was pair of pants. Yes. Hubba hubba. Hubba hubba. <laughs> so, there were a lot of themed answers in there. There really were, yes. Uh huh. And some of the answers were very clever mm. and funny. I especially enjoyed uh, the the one about the bear. This bear's repeating, mm -hmm, yeah. And the mummy returns was also quite good. So, anyway, very clever by, uh, like I said, John Kugelman. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, this, when I look at this puzzle, it looks like maybe it is a different size than a typical. Oh really? Puzzle. You mean you're telling me we have to count? Well, All right, it's I'm twenty one by twenty one. I counted. That is the right number. That's that the standard the, number. I guess maybe it's just the uh, configuration of the black squares is kind of different, maybe for a Sunday. Right, because because the the it week, makes it look hor very horizontal. I don't. For some reason, it almost looks like a rectangle, like it's wider than it is tall. But. I Wait a minute. I just can't. Hang on. I'm going to count again. Uh, one, two. Okay. Listeners get to listen to me count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. It is 22 wide. It is. It is 22 wide. We are now counting. I get 21. Did you really? <laughs> Maybe I'm. I'll tell you what. I'm going to count the letters to Resurgent. You count the letters to Sam Adams. Seven. Okay, oh, hang no, on. There's eight. One, two, <laughs> four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine. How many do you have? Eight. It's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, yeah, it is 22. It's, well, yeah, so, so it's interesting. Your eyes are so good at perceiving that. 
So it's it's wider. It it is not square, unless of course we, now we got to count the number of rows. It is twenty one up and down. Okay, so twenty. So it's, so yeah, it's a little wider. Yep. Well, I mean, give give uh, uh, John here a break, right? I mean, they're trying to work like an infinite number of clued theme yeah, answers. And, yeah, and again, uh, you know, there were a lot of clues. Yes. One hundred and thirty or two hundred and thirty six clues in this. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a nice, nice mm-hmm. bit of work here. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think if there's anything else. I mean, I was obviously so wrapped up in Otro that uh-huh. I don't know. But I did read every single answer mm-hmm. here four to five times uh-huh. as I was trying to figure out, mm-hmm. like, for example, 28 across. Honold, who was the first to free solo climb El Capitan, was uh, Alex Honold. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that... There were some very funny ones. I liked 18 across a city with a cowboy hat wearing a replica of the Eiffel Tower, Paris, Texas. Yes. I did not know that that was in Paris, Texas. But... Certainly makes sense, though. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then um, oh, there was another one that... Uh, oh, one that we both laughed out 102 across we both laughed out loud george lucas's original surname for luke skywalker was luke star killer yeah and we thought whoa what a different movie that would have been if his name had been luke star killer yeah i'm not <laughs> he sure sounds like a mobster or something i'm not sure why they went why they why they abandoned that i guess maybe the, their focus groups told them <laughs> yeah you know, Skywalker sounds more positive. It sounds like he should have been Darth Vader. Star killer. <laughs> so. 99 down, we had Haggard Fellow, and that was Merle. Right, yeah, that was good. That was good. And on the comeback trail was Resurgent. Mm-hmm. Took me a while to sort of uh, narrow in on that. And then, you know, as I was flailing about here because I was flailing about... I was doubting 106 down, group of buffalo, a gang. Yes. But I thought, that has to be right. Right. Because mm-hmm. um, 106 across, shockproof was gasp. Yes. That was sort of amusing. I I, I uh, got that on the first try. I thought, oh, it could be a gasp. Mm-hmm. So I put it in, and it was right. Uh, it's always a good feeling there. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. We had 94 across, buccaneers, buddies, hearties. Yes. Which has to be pronounced <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. And I was surprised how many people, because I looked at this uh, briefly on wordplay, how many people did not know the spelling of 75 down, filming innovation used in The Shining, steady cam, right. spelled S-T-E-A-D-I cam. Mm-hmm. So, um, hmm. let's see, I'm trying to think what else here. They had two clues that were both themed park worker, and 61 down was ranger. Right. And the other park worker, 95 across, was valet. Right, yes. That was sort of cute. That was. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I wrote this down immediately, but again, as I was as I was flailing about, I started to have doubts. Kind of salad with hard-boiled eggs, Cobb. Oh, uh-huh. And that was named after the baseball player, right? I have no idea. Ty Cobb? I don't know. Who loved salad with hard-boiled eggs? I, I really, that's a that's a new one on me. Yeah, I could have just invented that. Uh-huh. <laughs> For makes sense. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 40 across, they keep people in the dark. I originally went for eye shade, oh. but it was plural, so it turned out to be eye masks. That's right. Yes, I thought of eye shade too, but but uh, her daughter was more astute and said, oh, I think it's eye masks. Now, even though that's spelled E-Y-E, I bet that's going to be a new product from Apple next year, the eye masks. <laughs> Uh-huh. Maybe that's what they'll rename their Vision Pro, because they I, are an eye mask. <laughs> yeah, I, I, th- I think they have experts in marketing who would be like, no, just <laughs> shut it down right there. Speaking of shut and shot, 15 down carnival attraction that propels its sp- its riders sky high. Space shot. Yes. Have you ever been on a space shot? Uh, uh, probably, but I really don't know what they are. <laughs> so. Well, I can tell you. It's a carnival attraction that propels its riders I, sky high. Well, I mean, most most uh, carnival attractions propel you somewhere. Right. <laughs> so, and many do propel you high. No. Um, 58 across, we had owl or whippoorwill, e.g. And the answer was nightbird. Yes. 
I and knew a, an owl was a night bird. I did not know that about a whippoorwill. Based on my experience the other day with a winter bird, I was ex- <laughs> yeah. and it turned out to be winter tire. Yes. I was thinking perhaps this should be night tire. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how an owl would be an example of a night tire. Yes. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that. No, it did. It was totally, mm-hmm. totally correct. Mm-hmm. Incorrect. Um, let's see. I guess. You know, all of the answers were were very common, straightforward words. It was like clonk, except for maybe ultra and clonk <laughs> and clonk. Yeah, that was a little different, but that's a word I've seen that word before. Clonk. I don't know. If it doesn't show we, up in a Marvel comic... We started with plunk, and then we went to clunk, right? and then we went to clunk. <laughs> so I wanted it to be clank. Oh, uh-huh, but, but Eno. Right. you gotta, you got to have the Eno in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, hulled wheat. I definitely had... I had chaff, because oh. I really don't understand how, how farming works. Well, the so, chaff would be the hull. Okay. What, what's left over is the spelt. Spelt. Spelled S P E L T. That is correct. I wonder if anyone's ever misspelled spelt. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, 31 down. Nine credited roles in Barbie was Ken's. Yeah. But there were probably even more credited Barbies, right? There uh, were a lot of Barbies in that movie. I, I didn't count, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. So, a lot of kins too. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think that's it for today. A splendid crossword. Um, one of the finest that included the word outro that I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> and I did the theme. I thought was pretty good too. It was great theme. So I think five squares on the jam. See our scale. I'd give it. All right. Well done, John. And John has, by the way, done made a, a created a total of five. Uh, New York Times crosswords. Every single one of them has been a Sunday. Wow. He likes his 21 by 21, or in this case, 21 by 22. That's right. But, all right, well, that is it for today. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Yes. Remember, you can get a hold of us, Crossword Podcast at iCloud.com, or click on the link in the show notes. Otherwise, we will be back again with our cutting-edge analysis of tomorrow's crossword tomorrow. Bye-bye.